Hi everyone, welcome to Personal Finance Circle. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you 14 ideas to help you save more money. Now, saving money each month may seem like a hard task, but it doesn't have to be. Saving money consistently is an essential financial habit everyone needs to develop, as it is one of the critical components of personal finance. Now, I have put together 14 ideas that can help you save more money every month in this video, and these are ideas that you can start now and develop over time. Now, before we go into this video, if you're new to our YouTube channel, welcome to Personal Finance Circle, where we teach you how to make money, multiply money, and how to manage your money the right way. So if you love content like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you. Also, there's a chance for you to win $100 from us this month. I'll be talking about that later in this video. Now to the 14 ideas to save more money every month. For number one, you have used the 50, 30, 20 rule. Now the first step to saving more money each month is to know how to manage your income. There's no better way to manage your income than using the 50, 30, 20 rule of money. Now you should try to use this rule to manage your income as it is the first step to saving more money each month. This rule simply means 50% of your income goes into your needs, that is the things you can't do without like your food, your shelter, your clothes and so on and the next category focuses on necessary expenses that you cannot avoid now keeping this category at 50 percent helps you ensure that you are not overspending on your essential expenses then 30 percent goes into your wants your wants are the expenses that you can live without and still enjoy your life they are the things that you buy for fun or for leisure like your travels your vacations your subscriptions your non-important shopping and so on allocating 30 percent to your wants allows you to enjoy your life while still maintaining a healthy financial balance. Though it is important to indulge in the things you enjoy, but this should be done responsibly. Now, 20% goes into your savings or your investment, and allocating 20% to savings ensures that you are preparing for future financial needs and you are building wealth over time. Now, this money rule is crucial for long-term financial stability. Now, number two is to have savings goals. Now, a savings goal is a specific target amount of money that you aim to save over a certain period of time. Now, having a savings goal is a critical component of effective personal finance management. It provides direction and motivation for saving money. Now, your goal might be to save $5,000 in a month or in a year, or to have $2,000 in your emergency fund at the end of the year. But make sure you take into consideration your income and your expenses when you are setting your savings goals. Knowing that you have a goal helps you stick to your budget and resist impulsive buying and you can prioritize your spending and savings to align with your objectives. Number three is to cancel unnecessary subscriptions. Now these days we now have so many apps and services that we can subscribe to on our phones like streaming services and so on. Some of these subscriptions do add up to a lot if you calculate them. Now let's say for example one person has active subscription on Netflix, Prime, Spotify, YouTube, Twitch, and so on, and you expect such person to have enough money to save. Just take a look at all your subscriptions, see the ones you don't use regularly, and cancel them. And by doing so, you'll be saving more money. Canceling your unnecessary subscriptions will encourage you to reflect on your spending habits and will prioritize what's truly valuable to you. It will also help you reduce your monthly expenses and allocate that money towards savings or your investment. Number four is to pay your debt fast. Now, the longer you carry debt, especially high interest debt, the more interest you will pay. Now, paying debt can be a whole of a burden on you and your money, and this can really draw you back from achieving your savings goals. Now, if you find a way to pay off your debt fast, you will really do yourself a lot of good. You'll free yourself from that burden and be able to comfortably save more money. Now, the fifth way to save more money is to pay in cash. Yeah, I know when you spend cash, you are still spending money. I know. But the psychology of spending cash makes us more mindful full of giving up everything than just swiping your card or paying online. So paying in cash helps you to be mindful of how you spend your money because you won't want to see your wallet empty. And when you hand over your cash, you become more aware of each transaction that you make. Now, physically giving away your money feels more real than swiping a card, which can make you more mindful of your spending choices. Cash-based spending enforces discipline, and if you set aside a certain amount of cash for a specific purpose, you are forced to stick to that budget once the cash runs out. So ensure you are spending more cash than swiping a card. Number six is to work out at home. Now I'm sure you might have seen on Instagram how some of your favorite influencers or even your distant friends are joining different gyms and you feel interested to want to join. Now what you don't know is that those gyms cost a lot of money especially if you are paying for annual membership. 
Now, to save more money, you can buy a yoga mat to work out at home and you can go out for a jog in your area. And working out at home is an excellent way to stay fit, save money and maintain flexibility in your exercise routine. Number seven is to use high interest savings apps. Now, using high interest savings apps is a smart way to grow your savings faster by earning a higher return on the money you set aside. Now, the best way to save your money and maximize returns or to maximize your savings is to use high interest savings apps. Now, there are some fintech apps like Carry Rice, Piggy Vest, and Trove, and so on that can allow you to save money and they pay interest rates that are higher than the ones you get in the banks. Now, the links to sign up on these apps, I'll put them in the description below. Number eight is to use a shopping list. Now, we've all been to the store to buy things without a list, and what happens is that you come back from the store with things you never had in mind to buy or the things that you don't even need, which is called impulse buying. Now, sometimes you can even spend more than what you plan to spend at the store. So it's a great idea to always go to the store with a list of the items or stores that you need to buy. This will help you to be disciplined on what you buy and also it gives you enough money to save. Also, using a shopping list is a simple yet effective strategy to help you stay organized and to avoid impulse buying. It also saves you time and money while you are shopping. Number nine is to buy in bulk. Now, buying in bulk is a money saving strategy where you purchase larger quantities of products at a lower cost. Now, buying in bulk can really help you save a lot of money. However, you should only buy in bulk if you know that you are going to need the items. And make sure that the things you are buying in bulk are non-perishable things, that is things that cannot get spoiled or damaged or things that cannot get expired if not used in time. This can save you a lot of money. Number 10 is to plan your meals. Now, one of the easiest ways to reduce your expenses and save more money each month is to prepare your meals and reduce how much you spend in restaurants. If you regularly eat in restaurants, you should reduce the rate at which you go there and begin to buy food stuff and prepare your meals yourself. When you plan your meals, you can buy only the ingredients you need, which helps avoid impulse buying and unnecessary spending. It allows you to take advantage of sales and bulk buying for frequently used items in your house, and it helps you reduce the amount of money you spend when you go out to the store. Number 11, sell unused items. Now, most of us have some unused items in our kitchens, our stores, our garages, and wardrobes that we don't use anymore, but we can end some money by selling them even if it's at a cheaper rate now you can put these unused items up for sale in different online marketplaces you can find to bring in some cash for yourself and one of the most obvious advantages is the opportunity to make extra money items you no longer use or need could still have value to others so you can sell them at a cheaper rate to make more money for yourself and selling these items can free up space in your house in your store in your studio or anywhere you have so many unused items another thing is that selling unused items also makes you more aware of what you own and it helps you to be more mindful when buying things in the future you want to think twice before you buy new things knowing that you might not need them in the future Number 12 is to automate your savings. Now, automating your savings is a strategy that involves setting up regular automatic transfers from your bank account to your savings account. Now, there are so many high interest savings apps that can allow you to set up automatic transfers from your bank account to the savings account every day, every week, or every month. And this way, you don't have to do any additional work or spend time and your energy thinking about how to transfer money from your bank account to your savings account. Now, the principle behind automating your savings is to pay yourself first, meaning that before you spend your money on other expenses, a part of your income is automatically directed to your savings. This makes saving a priority rather than something you only do when you have money left over at the end of the month. Now, this strategy can be useful, especially if you have a savings goal or maybe you lack the habit of saving money. And again, automating your savings ensure that you are saving regularly. It means that you are saving maybe every week or bi-weekly or monthly or you are saving every day. And when you automate your savings, the money is transferred before you even see it in your bank account. So this reduces the temptation of having to spend everything you have in your account. Number 13 is to use discounts. Now, using discounts is a smart way to save money on everyday purchases and bigger expenses. Discounts can come in many forms such as coupon sales, promo codes, or loyalty rewards, and they allow you to pay less than the original price of that item. 
You need to be taking advantage of discounts from your favorite stores or from your favorite vendors to save more money. And you can use coupons on different websites to get discounts on the things you are buying. And you can even ask for discounts from people that you want to buy things from. So before you make any payments, you can ask the vendor, do you have any discounts or any promo code that I can use for this? Number 14 is track your expenses. Now, tracking your expenses involves monitoring and recording all of your spending to better understand where your money is going. Now, keeping track of your expenses will really help you to know how you are spending your money every month and this helps you to know if there are some expenses you need to reduce or even cancel. You can use a budget tracker or you can use a budget tracking app to do this. And tracking your expenses will provide you a clear picture of your financial situation and you'll be aware of every amount you are spending. Now, saving more money every month is a habit that everyone needs to cultivate and develop over time and with these 14 ideas that I've talked about in this video, you can save more money. Now to how you can win $100 from us this month, to appreciate our subscribers, we'll be giving out $100 to just one of our subscribers every month. And all you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel and drop a comment on all our videos this month. That is just all you have to do. And we will use the random picker website to pick a winner who will get the $100 and you could be the lucky winner. Again, just subscribe and drop a comment on all our videos this month. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.